here we have uh, a nice roadside park and there is a beach at Traverse City and the park offers train rides from 10 to 4.30. Adults are $3 and children are $2. Uh, I think it was from ages 12 to 2 and here is the little steam train. And right now Jack and Murdoch and their dad have gone to go get our train tickets and mommy and Trey are watching the train come. It sounds like a real steam engine. It woo woos like a real steam engine. Look at that. We don't want to stand too close. Look. Oh, wow. Its number is 400. the name of the train. Isn't that just great? And as you can see, we're, we parked over in the marina area. There is a municipal parking and it's um, Labor Day weekend. So there's free parking and it's normally metered parking. And just up ahead, it is called the Con uh, Foster Museum, and they sell ice cream here, and there is kayak and bike rental, and the boys have just come out from getting our tickets, and the train has arrived, so we're going to head over that way. Mommy! So you can enjoy a nice ice cream cone. And there's also this little tunnel here under the railroad tracks. Look at that. To cross the street. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. So, there's the Con Foster Museum. I guess they did. Well, they did go around twice. And it says if it's raining, they cannot run the train. And they can't get enough traction if it's slippery. It says the wheels slip going down the hill in the open space where the brakes are applied. And if someone were to pull across the tracks, we wouldn't have any chance of stopping. The seats are wet and that causes large wet spots on the seats of your pants. And you get wet. We cannot start running <laughs> until the tracks have had time to dry out and the time varies with the sun and humidity and continued rain. And the train cannot run if there is lightning. The engine is 4,000 pounds of steel, which is a great lightning attractor. People sitting in the cars are like little lightning rods. And much of the track is in open areas where the rain and passengers are the tallest things around, which could cause a lightning strike. So these are the reasons that the train would not be running or if it was not during the business hours of the train. And then see here, this is the boulevard. Uh, here they have the water hook up for the little steam engine and they've got an oil can there and everything. So we'll sit here in the depot, see what the boys have got going while we're waiting for the train. Let's interview these boys about their train sightings. Hello, Hi. sir. What is your name? Tell mommy what your name is. <laughs> it's just mommy. Did you see a train? Yes. What kind of train did you see? A uh, freight train. A freight train? Okay. Is it a steam engine? Yeah. Hello, sir. What is your name? Jack Whitey McQueen and I'm a Okay, and what was your experience with seeing the train? Did you see the number of the train? No, I did not. We'll have to see, find out what the number of the train is when it stops.
Would you like me to tell you? To tell you?